the analysis on the percentage of trades in which the user applies a stop loss is very basic. However, one of the most crucial parts of trading, because the stop loss is the major instrument for traders in their risk management. The analysis measures the number of trades in which the user applies a stop loss no matter at what level the stop loss is set. We have a separate set of analysis that look into the details of how much risk you are applying in your trades. Please refer to the respective videos to understand those analysis in more detail. In general, it is always advisable to use a stop loss in a trade no matter how experienced someone is in trading. Without a stop loss, the trader exposes her or himself to unnecessary risk. In the next step, I will guide you through four common situations which shows that it is always advisable to use a stop loss. Let's start easy. It can always be the case that you suddenly do not have any access to your trading account anymore, which can be caused by losing the internet connections or power, or something else happens that you very urgently have to do, or you have to go somewhere and cannot focus on the trades anymore. If you cannot close your trade anymore, at this, you have it secured and you cannot lose more with the trade than you initially were willing to risk. The second scenario is, even when at the computer or the phone all the time and monitoring the trade, it can always happen that there are sudden extreme market movement due to some events happening in the world. Those market movements can be so extreme that they have the potential to crush your account within seconds. Sadly, we cannot completely eliminate the risk of terroristic attack, environmental catastrophes, and etc. Also, economic events such as the sudden elimination of PAC from Euro to Swiss France in 2015 may create extreme market movements. The third scenario is, when it comes to closing the trade, it is much easier to stick to your rational derived close price in case this is automated by a stop loss, then convincing yourself to close the position at this point. In theory, this may give you the same payoff, however, many traders struggle to really execute the position at this point as they might not be willing to accept the loss, start to hope that the price will change direction, and etc. In case we do not use a stop loss, we are exposing ourselves to that risk which still might become real even though we are able to close the position in 99% of the time. That 1% left might result in a huge loss. Last but not least, when planning a trade and planning the stop loss level we want to apply in this trade, a trader forces him or herself to specify the amount of risk willing to take. This should be part of any trader's risk and money management. It is an easy way to make sure you always consider your risk and money management in any trade. Just make it your routine to set a stop loss and you can eliminate all the risk as described beforehand. Now, let's have a look at the chart. The chart you see that we show the percentage of trades in which you have used a stop loss based on an all-time average on the very left and also within the last months, last 3, 6, and 12 months. If you are only recently started to use a stop loss, the percentage should increase the shorter the time frame, just as with this trader we are looking at. We also show the benchmark to profitable traders, which use a similar trading style as you do. Even if this is not 100%, you should still aim for 100% of trades with a stop loss. Adding a stop loss to your trade is a quick win for your trading, which you should not miss. It may go well all the time without a stop loss, however, that one situation will come at some point likely losing you a significant amount of your trading funds. So be smart and always use a stop loss. Also, please keep in mind that the four reasons initially stated in the beginning of the video. Any percentage below 100% in your output will open the possibility for those things to happen. We have additional analysis that measure how well you set your stop loss 
to show you whether there is room for improvement. However, the first step is to try to get your statistics to 100% in this chart. As an additional assistance, you may choose to receive an alert from us in case we detect that you have not set a stop loss for a newly opened trade after a certain amount of time. Trading can be very demanding and a little technical support may actually help you to free your mind and focus better.